hello. Obviously, this is being posted after my last video where I kind of revealed my voice. But, the full video hasn't come out yet, and I'm trying to get as much videos as I can out before I consider quitting the Studio of Cat channel. No plans are set in stone, but I'm just letting you guys know for a possible future. So we'll see. Anyways, on to the gotcha character analysis of my Dream SMP characters and their designs. Starting with Foolish, um, it was, I had a hard time making this character simply because I did not know exactly how to make a totem into gotcha, but I'm sure it's possible. So I really just played into the, you know, the shark and just yellow gold theme, and I have like emeralds, like detail, and then a green eye. Uh, little details, he has a charm behind his fin, it's like, a weird saturated yellow and red, which is supposed to be for Puffy, because that's his mom. Shark Tail, besides that, that's foolish. And it doesn't end this him, but sometimes I have him with wings, like gold wings. Because, like, the whole, like, immort immortal god aspect of him. I'm sure it's in, it's in, like, a few videos. I'm pretty sure, like, during the Quackadoo Lore videos, he had it. So that's cool. Puffy. Speaking of Puffy, you know. Um, Puffy's character is literally just her skit in her Minecraft skit, but instead of a black, um, like, pirate outfit, she has a red one, because I wanted to use red. And, uh, you know, half white, half brown hair, and the cheap features kind of go, because she is part goat, because she slats slot, on little sister my AU. Her captain's hat is from her mom. And yeah, that's Puffy. <laughs> Not much going on. I love, um, Puffy's. I love this character, and I love her nose. It's cute. <gasps> Mumza. Oh my goodness. I love Mumza with all my heart, both IRL and my gotcha character. Um, she's been through a lot of developments. Like, there's a lot of phases. There's, like, after got her and before got her, where she's, like, mom mode, you know? Um, usually she has, like, a giant black hat and, like, a veil covering her, kind of like mysterious, godlike, you know? And we love to see it. Um, her giant gold wings, which are just beautiful and very, I can't explain it, but they scream death. But she's good because she's the goddess of death. Um, a beautiful purple outfit, kind of like fills us, you know, the um, Japanese, I think, style. She has two heart charms from Filza. As do most of the Phil's and Minecraft family does. She has skull eyes, which is pretty cool in my opinion. A yellow flower, because yellow is kind of her color. And she doesn't have a hearer, but she usually has gold horns, which is like her full Kadamoto. She's like a hundred feet tall, just mwah, chef's kiss, you know. And I and that's where um Tommy Kind of Wilbur. I think all the kids, all her kids got their horns from Momsa. Only just, only Tom is the one that actually has them when he's older. Because he was next to mine for goddess or god of death. If Momsa didn't take her role seriously. And yeah, that's Momsa. Sorry if I'm not really animated right now. I've been working all day. I've been editing all day. I've been cleaning all day. So. Yeah. You know, working hard for you guys. <laughs> Connor. Okay, Connor. I'm not joking. I looked at his Minecraft skin and said, there you go. I just, I made Sonic human. <laughs> this is not an insult to any of the actual, like, Sonic gotcha creators. Um, yeah, not much going on for Connor. I don't, I've used Connor twice. And one of those times is that unreleased video. You know what? I'll show you guys the video now. Uh, here, have an unreleased video. Okay, Aaron. Aaron's also a character where I just looked at the Minecraft skin and went, yep, yeah, that's pretty solid, and turned into a gotcha character. But I will say that Gotcha Club hated me for a really long time. For some reason, it came to darker skin tones. It wouldn't let me use dark skin tones correctly. So I... Originally, I had a really light skin tone for him, and I feel really bad because I hated how it looked. 
But finally, my graphs are, like, updated and let me use the darker skin. So now character Aaron looks like the right Aaron, kind of. It's still not dark enough, in my opinion, but Gotcha can only do so much, I guess. And Frost. I just turned his Minecraft character more human. This is a video filled with characters where I literally just looked at the Minecraft skin and went, that is a beautiful design. Let me just, loop write it into Gotcha. Um, he has cat ears, cat tail, same like color scheme as a Siamese cat, I'm pretty sure. Except his hair is supposed to match his actual hair more. Oops, sorry. He's not pretty sure his hair is darker now that I think about it. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't use Amphrost a lot either. Amphrost was mostly, um, in the Egg Pyre videos. And he played a good role, though. He was, he's a great actor. I wish I got to see more of him. I wish I watched more of him. And this is... Fundy. Um, once again, um, like I said with Ant Frost, you know, human character turned, uh, animal character turned humanoid, in a way. Kind of a furry, kind of not. <laughs> um, obviously he's like a shapeshifter, because that video is where he looks both fox in summer, he doesn't. But he gets it from Sally, because Sally's a fish. Yeah. <laughs> um, he has trans flags, because Fundy's canonically trans- a female to male. He has an orange little heart, which I'm, um, Aaron, which I'm pretty sure Sally has. And all his orange, like, light brown hair and white hair comes from Sally. It passed down genetics, so that's cute. But his outfit is really based off of his actual Minecraft skin, which I'm glad it turned out well. Oh, his little white heart, which is supposed to be Yogurt, his son, his adopted son, Yogurt. I think, I think this funny design is really cool, and I really like it. I'm proud of how it turned out. <laughs> I forgot to say for, um, Fundy, is that, um, all the, like, human, or, like, animal to human, like, shapeshifters in the Dream SMP have face markings. Like, okay, I can't explain it, but, like, on Fundy's character, if you look at his nose and his cheeks, he has, like, a deeper skin tone, like, his actual skin tone. And it's just showing that this isn't their real skin. This isn't their actual skin. I think CPK, Sally, and, like, Yogurt. Like, those type of um, characters have it. But, and Aunt Frost. Aunt Frost does too, somewhere, I'm pretty sure. <gasps> oh my god, Callahan. I miss Callahan so much. Uh, I, no, we have had no contact from Callahan, and it's been sufferable, I must say. But once again, a character, I looked at the skin and went, let's go. Except you can't really see the Captain America features, like, in his actual skin. But I kind of, kind of made it with, um, the glasses. You know, his guy's antlers, he's part deer, he's caught. Okay, here the green right there, it's not usually green, but it's just like a turtle hat, because this character, for some reason, this Minecraft character, he always has, a, like, a turtle shell hat on. And I love it, I love that for him. And I love his socks, because they're mismatched. And his bags, because they're day and ass balloon green. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's Callahan. Vicstar and Laser Beam. Okay, I don't watch either of them. The only time I watch Vicstar is when Tommy's like in Tom's vlog. So, yeah. But since technically Laser Beam I mean Vicstar married George, kinda, I gave him a crown. Uh, two crowns, because like, that would mean either he's royalty and George became royalty when he married him, or he became royalty when he married George, because George was royalty. So that was my thought process there. And then Laser Bean is just... I kind I try to match his skin, because he was he's a little itch and bread man. But they do have charms for each other. He has a blue charm for Vicstar, and Vicstar has a red charm on his hair for Laser Bean, because they did live together, I'm pretty sure, and die together. L-O-L. Eret. Okay. I, Eret's lore was really good. I'll say that. Um, obviously I'm talking about designs, but I had to mention that, that I enjoyed Eret's lore and character development towards the end. And also, I'm also the type of person to make a museum off of my Minecraft world. So I related to that a lot. <laughs> um, in my AU, Eret used to dress a very masculine, I guess you could say even though he was comfortable on his sexuality and whatever he wore, but as he, later on, 
he started to wear more dresses and she started to, you know, do what do what they wanted. And I'm I like that detail about what I did. <laughs> um, of course Aaron has the white Hero Brian eyes, because I think Aaron is canonically Hero Brian's son. Which is which is cool. We love that. Um, red dress to look like, you know, a a king's gown, um, gown, jacket, I don't know. Very formal, got the bisexual, um, flag as, like, uh, what's it called? A cape, cape, yeah. Hair accessories also the bisexual flag. And yeah, um, oh, um, the charm in his hair, like the orange and yellow is supposed to be for Fundy. Because he almost, I think, I don't know if he exactly did, but I know he wanted to adopt Fundy. So, that's cute. I'm sure they have some sort of parental relationship still. And that's, and they do, in my AU at least, because there's a video on, kind of that. We stand, uh, stand up, parent, parents. <laughs> Okay, CPK. I actually grew up watching CPK, so seeing him get added to the Dream SMP was, like, pretty cool. Um, CPK is a Fox character, but I don't really do, like, full-on, like, animals, like Amphrost and Fundy. Are we just humanoid animals? So CPK was no exception. He kind of just looks like an older Fundy. But... He has a base marking, which is kind of different, like Fundy's does. I'm um, pretty Fundy does. And since we didn't see much of CPK's lore, he's not very detailed or has, like, character design development over from his lore, because I didn't really give him any lore. Boring lore he has is based on the actual lore he did, which is kind of time traveler, adventurer, or just trying to figure out the mysteries of the world kind of guy. But I do love the character, and it was really fun using him during Eggpire. Slime. Okay. Um, I don't watch Charlie, really, like, at all. The only content I get from him is from Tommy videos. Because I'm not watching a QSMP, so I literally have no idea what's going on with this guy. But, you know, I thought he was funny in the Dream SMP, so. Um, it's, it's the, the Minecraft skin as well. Except a little bit more slime on his face than he does on his character. Jacques Manifold. Jacques Manifold. I like that clip. That was that was the good days to end the Dream SMP. I kind of miss 2021 sometimes. Anyways, Jacques Manifold looks like his Dream SMP character skin. He's got the sort of um, snow chester um, fit going on with the jacket and the kind of tag for like nuclear waste. He has demon features because he died, I'm pretty sure, three times and came back to life somehow. Some people theorize he's a demon, some people theorize he was a robot and not real. So I kind of had both, but like, Grey Patch is supposed to be like metal. So he's both a demon and metal. He has a pink flower for Nikki. Like I said before, Nikki has one. I said in part three that Nikki has one from Jack. So, they're matching, which is really sweet. Okay, I don't watch AMC. Like, I've probably watched one stream, and it was probably, like, for LOLs. <laughs> but, if I remember correctly, he uses he-they pronouns. And if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. But AMC here, he's just a silly little guy. Um, I'm, if I remember correctly, um, they're character kind of like Finn from Adventure Time. So I had the bunny hat, but I had more of an adventurer fitting the Amesy theme clothes. Because Amesy's character legit just kind of showed up at the Dream SP. That's their lore, I'm pretty sure. And he was like, oh, I guess I'll stay here. And then he found out that his best friend was a ghost and he felt betrayed, so they left. I'm, I don't remember exactly, but that's what I remember. And that's what that little, like, green and red patch is. It's from Ghost Boo. And then, like, a Daisy Charms, because I'm pretty sure they had a Daisy. That's, like, their special item. I don't remember exactly. Alyssa. 
Okay. Obviously, Alyssa left pretty early on in the Dream SMP, but I remember her being there. I remember a stream with her George and Dream sometimes, and like the joke between her and Callahan dating. But I really adored Alyssa, so I was really upset when she stopped joining. So I had my own little lore, cannon and head cannons for her while she left and all that. But this is the only video with her in it. I'm pretty sure. I think there's one where she's in the background and it's like younger her. Besides that, this is the only Alyssa content I got. Okay, that is my final, um, like, humans, I think, character analysis. Because my next part, which I think is my last part, is just going to be characters that weren't like the actual content creators, but were just like mentioned in the lore, written in the lore. Like, for example, Foolish Kids and, like, Friend and, uh, Michelle and, you know, Shroud. So, look forward to that, but I think that will be the last character analysis video. I'm not sure if it'll be my last video on this channel, but... Possibly close. Um, when I say last, I'm talking about the fact that I have a full Minecraft video coming out on my other channel which is studio underscore WC, which is going to be my Minecraft channel. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm completely abandoning this channel, because there's no way I would ever leave you guys hanging. But, we'll see what the future holds. Um, bye!